Look at all of you professional scientists. I'm so impressed. Science Fair has been renamed to STEM Fair because Science Fair has evolved into making sure that we're including technology, engineering, and mathematics as well as science. And I think that just opens, opens it wide up for that whole career and college readiness. It just really gets kids invested. It's just pr pretty amazing what they will come up with if you turn them loose and let them go. I love science. I've always loved science. I, um, I like, I think it's great that schools let us do science fair and I did this project personally because I like to be able to solve a problem and not only have fun while I'm doing something. Where I got the interest in the project is I saw uh, the movie The Martian and I saw how Mark Watney was able to make water by burning an element and that got me thinking that what, could you make water out of air? Can you make it, make it safer? So I found out that I actually like planting and agriculture more than I thought I did before because it's not just plant something and water it like every day. And you said you put it in a box. Is it also kept at these temperatures yes. in between that time? Just a typical rubber like kickball you use at lunchtime no, or like a, a soccer, soccer ball? No, it wasn't a kickball. And you have judges that get to grade you and they can give you so many different tips and help you and tell you what would be better for the project, what would be nicer for it. And it's just you get to learn, you get to learn a lot more and it's just always exciting to see young people excited about their work and, and how, it, how involved it is. Uh, I'm just really impressed with young people and, and the kinds of work they're doing. They're learning, they're new, so give it to them with a grain of salt, you know, kind of, if they misspell something, don't take it to heart, you know, because they're kids at the same time. You just go with one, yeah. how did you do that? I was kind of like switching electrodes, like for here, you can see all the different com yeah. combinations that yeah, I, yeah. I tried, so I, I tried like all of these com combinations here. Well, the hard skills, of course, they're learning how to conduct research, how to create graphs, how to observe and collect data based on those observations. They're learning how to take those, that information that they gain from their experiment and put it on paper. Then taking that and analyzing that data for patterns and drawing conclusions from it. The board always seems to be the longest part, but um, I feel like the research was the best part and the easiest part because when doing a science project, I feel like it's easier to do something that's going on in class and that your teacher can explain to you so you have a better understanding of it. So when you go to do research on your own, everything clicks together. I'm really not surprised because I always believed that students had this within them, but the way the teachers are teaching and their involvement with the students and how they can approach the students, our hands are with the teachers. That's what develops the students' minds. I had a science teacher in fifth grade that was really nice. Her name was Miss Camara. She always used to help me and teach me more. She, she wanted me to try to achieve high, more goals and become better at what I wanted to do. And my teacher told me last year when we were talking about creating a class that science is magic, basically. So it's like, it's science is in everything we do from your cell phones to how you shoot a shot and stuff like that and every living thing so that's what made me think about science. So I've always had a passion for programming and coding so I've been started to program in elementary school and from then on I've just expanded my programming base to developing applications. And today you see many girls involved with computer science, math and I think that's wonderful and it's a big growth. You have to try to do it because when I first did it, I thought it was not going to float. And then I, I tried it uh, several times until I got it. That's just something that like I'm really passionate about with like electricity and I think that learning more about it is going to be beneficial to like the future. And then really finding out what did you learn from it? Did it work like you thought it was going to? Maybe not, but that's okay. That's what science is all about. I think some of the good things were that we actually had a lot of fun together and we developed more of a teamwork skill than we had before. Because what you build affects many people and just building it and seeing how that, what you spent so much time working on, how it affects the world and people that use what you build. I learned that I like plants <laughs> and gardening a lot. I feel like if you're able to keep like a really good regimen on what you're doing and also be able to <laughs> pace yourself with your project, it makes it a lot easier. 
And so I guess it's helped me like find a path that I would want to take um, like in college and even on to like graduate school and stuff. From elementary to middle school science classes and then the high school where they start specializing in in either a chemistry or, or a physical or a biological or astronomy, whatever it might be that they decide to pursue in the sciences, they have a chance to apply it to a real life project. I just love programming even more and I'd like to develop more mobile applications in the future. I know like I'm definitely going into this field of computer science or something related to that. He's very, very hopeful. Um, a lot of these kids, you know, back then when I came up, we did science fair projects because we had to. A lot of these kids are doing them now because of what they want to do in the future. So I think it's a big difference. This, this shows that the schools are really producing kids that are interested in experiments and science and math and, and what's going on around them. And I'm so excited that the kids of Sarasota County have an opportunity to participate in a program like this because it creates, well, it it makes them think creatively and that's what learning is about. It was just really fun to experiment and draw conclusions and I think it really solidified that I really want to do this in the future.